Somebody give me a stretcher. Hi, hi, What's everyone. Up, y'all? We miss you guys so, so very much. We can't wait to fellowship again. Hope everyone is safe and well. So uh, we will be doing the Mad Minute for from last Sunday, where the word was May Day, May Day, May Day. Excuse me. Isaiah sixty-two and six was one of the verses. Uh, Bishop touched on and it reads O Jerusalem I have posted watchmen on your walls they will pray day and night continuously take no rest all you who pray to the Lord so what we get from that is we need to be consistent in our prayer life and the word of God that way the the enemy doesn't have an opportunity or window to to sneak in Uh, Bishop even preached about The world is set up in a way that when one side is at rest and at sleep, the other side is always at wake and prayerful. That way somebody, he even talked about somebody standing in the gap and being that sacrifice. Because as believers, we should be concerned about God's people and other believers as well. Yes, and additionally, with the word mayday, 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 that was used during war times. When you were in trouble and you needed assistance, you cried, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Bishop told us to say it three times to represent the trilogy. And God can come to our rescue so swiftly. So we constantly have to stay prayerful and vigilant. We never know. Mayday may be today. Mayday Mm -hmm. may be tomorrow. So we are going to stay steadfast no matter what and trust that God is in control. Until next time, we miss you guys and love you so much. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.